Hello students, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. I am Professor Siddhi from SNG College. Subject for today is Film Communication and our today's topic is Birth of a Visual Art. Visual art means creative art whose products are to be appreciated by sight such as painting, sculpture, filmmaking, ceramics and many more. We can also say that the visual arts are art forms that create works that are primarily visual in nature such as ceramics, drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, design, crafts, photography, video, filmmaking and architecture and many more. Fundamentals of visual art Space, form, size, shape, line, color texture, tonal values, perspective, design, and aesthetic organization of visual elements in art object, the uses of two and three dimensions in visual art, tactile quality in art are the characteristics of visual art. There is no particular definition of visual art. But research scholar and many established artists define visual art as a modern but imprecise umbrella term for a broad category of art which includes a number of artistic disciplines from various subcategories. The visual arts are art forms such as paintings, drawings, printmaking, sculpture, ceramics, photography, video, filmmaking, design, crafts and architecture. Many artistic disciplines such as performing arts, conceptual art, textile arts are also involved aspects of visual arts as well as arts of other types. The art of painting consists of the arrangement of shapes, lines, colors, tones and textures on a two-dimensional surface, thus creating an aesthetic image. More than that, one cannot say the sheer variety of possibilities precludes any more precise definition. The finished painting may be wholly representational and naturalistic, such as those of the photorealist or wholly abstract comprising only geometric shapes or anywhere in between. In general terms, it might be a narrative history work, a portrait, a general scene, a landscape or a still life. It may be painted using oil paints, acrylics, watercolors or any of the new contemporary mediums and as art critics and historians can testify, there are countless conflicting theories about the function, design, style hierarchy and aesthetics of the paintings. So perhaps the safest thing is to say that the visual artist painters are engaged in the task of creating two-dimensional works of visual expression in whatever manner appeals to them. The line between drawing and painting has always been slightly blurred. In fine art, the term drawing may be defined as a linear realization of visual objects, concepts, emotions and fantasies including symbols and even abstract forms. Drawing is a graphic art which is characterized by emphasis on forms or shapes rather than mass and color as in painting.
drawing is quite different from graphic printmaking process because although a drawing may be form the basis of replication it is by its very nature unique the fine art of print making is concerned with the production of images by various methods of replication onto paper fabrics or other supports the resulting fine prints or impressions while not original in the sense of fine art painting or drawings are considered nevertheless to be works of arts in their own right even though they exist in multiples it remains to be seen whether the latest fine printing techniques alter this assessment the most enduring and arguably the greatest form of fine art known to man sculpture has played a major role in the evolution of western culture its history and stylistic development are those of western art itself it is a key indicator of the cultural achievements of classical antiquity and become an important influence on the development of renaissance art in italy together with architecture it was in principal form of monumental religious art which for centuries was the driving force of european civilization even today although continuously evolving sculpture is still the leading method of expressing and remembering both historical figures and events known as an important plastic art ceramics derived from keramos greek for potter's clay referred to items made from clay bodies and fired in a kiln to obtain the finished form outside of art due to new technological processes the term ceramics now encompasses a wider group of materials including glass cements so clay is no longer a key component now what is photo and photography everyone is aware about every aspect of it but in the support of next slide i would say in photography the result is still image video is typically appears in two basic varieties first single channel and second is installation in single channel works a video is screen projected or shown as a single series of images installation typically comprise either an environment made up of several distinct pieces of video screen simultaneously or a combination of video with assemblage or performance art at present installation video is the most common form of video art being part of multimedia fashion for combining architecture designing sculpture electronic and digital art latest developments include the use of internet and computer art to manipulate film imagery and to control videos from the world wide web or remote locations filmmaking involves a number of discrete stages including an initial story idea or commission through screen writing casting shooting sound recording and pre production editing and screening the finished product before an audience that may result in a film release and exhibition a design is a plan or specification for the construction of an object or system or for the implementation of an activity or process or the result of that plan or specification 
in that form of prototype, product or process. The verb to design expresses the process of developing a design. In some cases, the direct construction of an object without an explicit prior plan may also be considered to be design activity. The design usually has to satisfy certain goals and constraints, may take into account aesthetic, functional, economic and socio-political considerations and is expected to interact with a certain environment. Major examples of designs include architectural blueprints, engineering drawings, business processes, circuit diagrams, and sewing patterns. The term craft denotes a skill usually employed in branches of the decorative arts or in an associated artistic practice. A key feature of craft is that they involve a high degree of hands-on craftsmanship rather than just skill with a machine. Some crafts that are practiced by artists working alone are sometimes referred by the vague term studio craft. Metal work, wood turning, glass blowing and glass art are examples of studio crafts as is pottery. Notably, the studio pottery movement exemplified by Bernard Litch in Britain. Architectural work in the material form of buildings are often perceived as cultural symbols and as works of art. Historical civilizations are often identified with their surviving architectural achievements. Although various forms of art have been practiced for hundreds of millennia, it is only comparatively recently that the role of the artist has emerged. During classical antiquity as well as the era of Benzatium, Corolingian, Ottonian, Romanesque and Gothic art, painters and sculptors were treated as mere artisans, paint appliers or carvers. Then, during the Renaissance, Thanks to individuals such as Leonardo da Vinci, the profession of artist was raised to a new higher level, reflecting the new perceived importance of the design element or also called as designo. Suddenly, painters and sculptors had a new unique status on par with the architects. For fine artists, the situation has remained largely unchanged to this day, except that they have now been joined by visual artists involved in installation, video art, conceptual works, assemblage and the like some crafts are also included under the umbrella of visual art, although most continue to be funded by the crafts bodies. From the Renaissance onwards, this new status was also reflected in an educational system based around a network of fine art academies that promulgated a particular form of academic art. This contained all sort of rules about how paintings and sculptures were to be created. Elements such as subject matter, form, message, composition, color, were quite strictly regulated. Failure to follow the rules meant exclusion from the prestigious annual art exhibitions organized by the academies. And since participation in this art shows was often the only way an artist could gain a reputation, win commissions and ultimately secure converted membership of his national academy. Exclusion meant financial ruin. It wasn't until 20th century that the power of the academies began to wane in any significant sense.
the 20th century also witnessed a gradual change in attitude towards a practice of crafts. Put very simply, up until about 1900, aside from literature and the performing arts, the educational and professional establishments only recognized two basic classes of artistic activity. First, fine arts, that is work, created purely for aesthetic reasons and crafts that is work with a utilitarian purpose. The former, since Renaissance times, were created by artists, the latter by the lower category of craftspeople. There was a very little justification for this arbitrary distinction between arts and crafts. As many craft works were wholly devoid of any functional purpose and required as much skill as by fine art. By encompassing several crafts, the category of visual art has helped to remove some of the barriers between arts and crafts, although many remain. Another set of changes in our classification and appreciation of art began to unfold during the early decades of 20th century. This was due to the emergence of several new art forms such as collage, assemblage, found objects, conceptual art, performance art and happenings, photo montage, illustration and advertisement clippings, photography and video art, animation art, etc. New techniques also appeared in traditional fine art disciplines like painting with the invention of acrylic paints used by David Honky and others and printmaking with the introduction of silk screen printing famously used by Andy Warhol and with Geekly prints. Increasing affluence during the second half of the 20th century has led to significant extra investment in what has become a major visual arts industry. In many European countries, tertiary level art colleges now teach a huge range of subjects to hundreds of thousands of art students. Whole government departments with multi-millionaire dollar budgets are now devoted to the promotion of visual arts. While even local government authorities maintain full-time art officers to coordinate activities at local level. This structure is frequently augmented by state-run agencies, for example, arts councils, whose role is to disperse the increasing number of grants, bursaries, residencies, special stipends and other types of financial support for visual artists. In addition, governments are becoming major art patrons by buying significant quantities of paintings, plastic art and other work for public display. New methods of fundraising to support public art have been developed such as the percent for art schemes in Ireland. Recent cutbacks notwithstanding all this demonstrates the enormous scale of the visual art industry in the 21st century and even if many full-time artists are still poor. This is mainly because their numbers have shot up significantly over the past few decades. Renaissance meaning the revival of European art and literature under the influence of classical models in 14th to 16th century. The culture and style of art and architecture developed during Renaissance. Byzantium became common in the West to refer the Eastern Roman Empire, 
whose capital was Constantinople, which is now known as Istanbul. Carolingian is a period of cultural activity. In the Carolingian Empire, it occurred from the late 8th century to the 9th century, which took inspiration from the Christian Roman Empire of the 4th century. Primarily, Ottanian is Germany, pertaining or designating the arts or culture of Ottonian period characterized chiefly by the development of forms derived from both Carolingian and Benzatine concepts and Ottonian revival. Holy Roman Empire from the year 962 to 1002 Romanists relating to a style of architecture which prevailed in Europe in the year 900 to the year 1200, although sometimes dated back to the end of Roman Empire, that is 5th century. Gothic art was a style of medieval art that developed in northern France out of Romanesque art in the century of Tubel, led by the concurrent development of Gothic architecture. The earliest Gothic art was monumental sculptures on the walls of cathedrals and abbeys. <laughs>